We are going to start by showing you what is the dumbest thing you can do in bachata. It's actually a common mistake, but stick until the end because we're gonna give you all the tricks, the tips, all the tools you need to avoid this and take your dancing to a next level. For sure, you're going to like this video, so don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, patrons. Thank you, subscribers. Visit our platform, marcelena.com, for more premium tutorials. So we hope you got the idea, which in our opinion, it's actually the dumbest thing to do when social dancing. And to put it simply into words is a lack of connection between yourselves. We are not talking about the emotional connection, the theatrics. No, we're talking about the actual physical connection, transmitting the tension, the energy, coordination and everything else. And for that, we are going to dwell in first on the reasons why this is happening and then how can you avoid it and what you can do to become better. Usually the lack of connection when social dancing happens because we are too in our own heads, we focus too much on ourselves and we don't pay attention to the things that really matter. Remember this acronym RTC, Rhythm, Tension and Coordination. After you watch all the points about the RTC and their tips and tricks, let us know in the comment section down below which one was the one you needed the most. The first is gonna be the rhythm. You have to keep at least the basic rhythm in bachata. One, two, three, tap, five, six, seven, tap. Of course, you already know this. One, two, three, tap, five, six, seven, tap. I know it sounds simple, but at the next party, look around you, look only at the feet of the dancers, you try to count and see how many dancers are actually staying on that beat, on that bachata rhythm, the basic one. One, two, three, four. And you will be amazed. And here are three tips to help you become better in this keeping of the rhythm. First of all, whenever you step, you need to feel that beat. For example, the sounds are not like ah, 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 ah. You don't dance like that. Ah, 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 <laughs> Okay? For example, the bachata song is slow and they go like... Because they don't feel the beat. The beat has a beginning, an apex, my voice failed, and a finish. So it's something like ah, ah, ah. Uh, and when you step, you need to feel that beat. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, and so on. Boom. I hope this makes sense. Now we are getting into tip number two. You do this by using the feet, by actually rolling, by having your ankle active, and by using the hips and the legs. Because, again, next party, look around, you will see a lot of dancers that from this point over, they are so relaxed. On the upper body, they are like, but their legs are like really, really relaxed, flaccid. Tense up, use the actual feet because it's gonna help a lot. How do I advise you to do this? And we get into tip number three is on your feet, toes, grab a little bit the shoes, just a little bit, just a little bit. Just a little bit, dance like this, boom. Boom. Of course, I'm not gonna emphasize this to break your toes, no, but have some tension into the ground because if your feet are relaxed, your toes are relaxed, you just slap the ground and you're way too relaxed. You don't have any control. To resume, you need to keep the rhythm. Use your feet, ankle, toes, hips, boom, 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 
and roll the foot by using also actively the toes. This should help you a lot. And your basic should go from this, something like that, to more boom, 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 pack, 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 pack. More activity on the lower part because on the upper part everybody does things, but the lower part is sucky sucky. Before going to the next point, just keep this in mind. The rhythm is the first thing that connects us as a couple when dancing, because if we are dancing both on the same rhythm, it will be a lot easier to understand each other and connect. And guys, you know you usually have a problem with rhythm and girls don't, so that's why you usually fight. The second most important thing for connection is the tension. Tension. And we mean by the tension in your bodies, in your hands, not like the two. <laughs> How do you do this? Again, some tips. Exercises first. Grab the hands, be sure you're using only the fingers. If you feel that you tense up your forearm, your wrist, that's not good because you don't need to have uh, the hand tensed. You need only to have tension in your fingers. I don't have right now a pen, but I have my ring. So, imagine this is a pen or a big sharpie. On your desk, just try to roll it, play with it like this. Because you need to have some agility, some uh, dexterity with your fingers. You can, imagine I have a poker chip and you roll it. That helps to have some dexterity. Or with a pen, just doing these gimmicks, they will develop a lot of dexterity in your fingers. And guess what? When you're dancing, mainly you're using this to create connection. How we do those exercises? First, you put a little bit of tension in your fingers, remember, not in the wrist, not in the forearm, not in the hand, and we just lean back, but we, <laughs> we try to keep the hands in the middle, boom, I'm gonna exemplify this only with one finger, you hold on with all of them, boom, 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 okay? Now the hands don't move, they are in the middle. Next, we're going to do some push-ups, vertical push-ups. Again, the hands stay in the middle, and boom, and boom, and boom, and boom. If this happens, <laughs> or this, push me, <laughs> you are not balancing the tension. Of course, another one would be like go back, and boom, boom, and so on. These exercises tend to teach you how to create that tension between you. Of course, you're not gonna go to the party and, ah, hello, do you dance? Yeah, let's first do some tension exercises. No, these are for you to understand how to create it as a leader, as a follower, because usually tension is created by having two forces of opposite effect, like that or like that. Now, when you dance, for example, you want to make a preparation. And usually, if you want to pull, the preparation is gonna be a... Tosh. Yes. So, one, two, boom. Just for this motion of getting some space, we'll exaggerate. One, two, I pull a little bit and I push. If I'm going to mix push and pull, sorry, my English is muy bueno. <laughs> Once again, one, pull, push, tap. Now, we have a big push motion. Now we have a big pull motion, boom. For example, opposite, boom, boom, boom. I really hope this makes sense because it's the fundamental in having a good connection. Of course, the rhythm to connect both of you to the music, but tension is to connect both of you to each other. Ladies, Elena is gonna take over, but pretty please just don't be Hulk or boiled spaghetti. The thing about the tension is not that we have to keep the same tension all the time. For instance, to be like this, the whole dance, because the leader will dance, will lead me very hard. Neither to be very soft, so he will not feel me, he won't understand if I understood the move and so on. We need to be able to adapt in each moment to balance the tension that the leader is asking for us. It won't work if your body is relaxed and you only have the hands tensed. So you need to put a little bit of tension in your entire body. Some tips for this and then we move to the next point uh, are, first, leaders, down a little bit and to the side. So it's like your lats are going down and to the side, boom, a little bit, you don't have to, uh, 
The same goes for the ladies. We go up and down. We squeeze a little bit here our shoulder blades. Yeah, up, down. About the abs, we generally say to have your abs tensed. What does that mean? I am not relaxed, but I am also not mm, posing for a cover magazine. It's a little bit of tension. You know, when you lift something really heavy and you want to protect yourself, you tense up a little bit your abs. So that's the main idea. Have your abs connected. Now, the, about the feet, we already talked about them on the rhythm. You need to have them active as well. So if you dance like this, it's going to be amazingly well done. So stay on rhythm, have this tension in your body and connect the tension between you and you're almost a perfect dancer. On another thing that is very important, don't create the tension all of a sudden. You need to apply pressure in a progressive way until you get to the tension that you need for the move that you want to do. Girls are different leaders. So to some of them you will need to tense up a little bit more and to some of them you will need to apply it a little bit uh, longer or more progressive. So adapt. But what Elena said is very true. So two things to avoid. One, doing it really fast, yeah? And secondly, doing it either really strong or really flask. And finally, we arrived to the last point, which might be the hardest one yet. Because in our workshops, when we travel to festivals, our students usually have a good sense of rhythm, usually have a good sense of tension, but also usually when it comes to coordinating different body parts in difficult moves, they tend to lack a little bit. And what do I mean by that? For example, when you've learned the basic turn, you were taught something like this. One, two, raise the hand, stop, give the signal, five, six, lower the hand, stop. I can put these commands on a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This might sound simple enough, connecting the signals to the count. Okay, no problem. But when you have much more complicated moves, you need to coordinate many body parts at once. One example of this would be when you want to lead some footer, for example. One, two, three, four. And I want to do this. How do I lead this? Because if I do this, it's not gonna work. Or maybe, again, just follow me. Uh, okay, what happened here? In the bad examples, my hand was moving individually from my feet. So you need to learn how to coordinate, how to create that motion and stop it at the same time. The same example, my hand is connected to my feet. It's like I draw a line and I go, boom, I stopped it. Boom, 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 boom. That's it. Now, of course, you can only do this by using the entire body. There are so many different moves in which you need to coordinate your body. And by that, I mean different body parts with different body parts. And for that, I have some simple exercises. They are fun exercises, but they are also frustrating exercises. The first one is really simple. Just do your basic step and just snap your fingers whenever you finish shifting the weight. I'm not talking about ah, I'm talking about ha, I finished. I shifted the weight, I snapped. Coordinated with the shifting of the weight, five, six, seven, end. Perfect. Now, this one was easy. Let's go with a triple step and as well snap like one, two, three, and four. Five, six, let's go. Good. Now, keep the fingers on the basic rhythm while doing the triple step. Five, six, seven, eight. Good. This one should already be a little bit harder. The last one, 
let's do the El Bajo step. We are going to snap the same rhythm like one and three, four, five and seven, eight while we do the step. Five, six, seven, eight. Good. Now we're going to do the triple step. Sorry, blah, blah, the El Bajo while one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Good. Try those. If you get all of them perfectly from the first try, the second try, even the third try, you might have really good coordination because in these exercises you use a lot your mind because you need to coordinate different body parts, the snapping of the fingers with the shifting of the wave. Later, you can add body movement, hips, etc. If you have difficulties, this is a really good starting point. Of course, you could modify the exercises. These are only a few ones, basic ones. You could do so many variations just to train a little bit your mind. Coordination, one, about your own body, two, coordinating with each other, three, coordinating with the music. Why do we mean by that? Okay, you have the basic rhythm and you have a good tension, but you cannot coordinate what you hear with your legs, for example. So you wanna do a triple step. I'm going to count normally, but you will see me messing up the steps. I'm going to exaggerate. So five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> that was really awkward, <laughs> yeah? So for example, I stepped way too early because I didn't fill the gaps as needed. So I hope this makes sense. That's it you crazy awesome dancers. Remember to train on these aspects. We know we went into a lot of details, but this is just our way of sharing secrets. That being said, don't forget to subscribe. You're close to 100,000 subscribers. See you in the next video.